Elder Millennials, what stereotype aggravates you the most? I hate that millennials get pinned as being addicted to their phones, like, always behind a screen and not interacting with the real world. I for one try really hard to have good phone etiquette and what I've noticed is, boomers can be really bad at this. Some of the older people in my office and family are the worst offenders when it comes to texting at the table or just checking out on social media. Every time my husband and I are at the airport we talk about this. Every boomer there is glued to their phone that weird way they look down at it but also up somehow tapping away at some mindless game. Often with a sound on. The sound on boomers kill me. That we don't take our jobs seriously. I had to sit my peer. 55 plus down and tell him that the millennials he was beeing about were the same age as the very qualified and mission focused person he's been working with for the past decade. We're upper management. Me and colleague in story specifically, not a generalization on millennials. To clarify, I'm 35. Boss is 61. She complains about millennials. I remind her all the time that I am a millennial as are her two adult children both about my age. What's worse? Her 34 year old daughter also complains about millennials. Apparently there are subdivisions of millennials. Come the F on. Note to any 30 somethings complaining about millennials. You're not cool. You're a refine idiot. I get extra salty about the boomers that are constantly on their phones playing Candy Crush or are posting misinformation on Facebook. But will be the first to say we are addicted to tech. Uh, okay. So, I believe that is just the shame talking because you can't make a pivot table and I can. Kevin. Lol. Yeah my parents do this. And my grandparents. When I was growing up and phones were just becoming normal they'd complain about me checking if I had messages once an hour. Now the second a single phone vibrates they all jump and ask if that was your phone or theirs. Then check messages and Facebook to make sure they didn't miss something. It's almost comical. The stereotype that a lot of millennials are struggling with money because they're lazy and entitled is ridiculous. Look at the average wage versus healthcare and higher education now versus what it was a few decades ago boomers had it far easier than we did but act like our generation struggles just boil down to lack of hard work also the participation trophy meme aside from being largely bullshit anyway raises the question whose generation was giving out the participation trophies why would you blame the kids who received them like many i am working from home I'll get a call from my mom hey you are not working now, go do something for me, thanks. Working from home is wiser than going to real work, at least for me, I do fit the stereotype of hating talking on the phone. I work primarily at night, one of my jobs I generally get out at midnight, the other more like 4am, my mom acts like I don't have a job, the most ridiculous thing is she babysits my daughter overnight when I work, I love this one. I used to catch so much flack for sleeping so late, none or one, when I work 10pm to 7am, when the f in hell am I supposed to sleep dad? When we are looked down upon for needing to use YouTube, etc, for learning tasks, for example, changing attire, that our parents were taught by our grandparents but the former never took the time to teach us, looking down on someone for anything that they haven't yet been taught but are trying to learn is just about the stupidest thing i've heard it's not their fault that no one had taught them the thing yet and they are going out of their way to teach themselves what is wrong with that my mother never taught me household skills when i was young when i was a teenager she insisted i do chores like loading the washing machine then she got mad when i asked her how the machine works because you are a teenager you should know this my 5 year old knows how to load and turn on both the washing machine and the dishwasher. I remember my dad screaming at me because you never do anything around the house. But when I so much as touch the washing machine I got screamed at because you don't know what you're doing and you're going to break it. So how am I supposed to do anything around the house when I'm not allowed to touch any of the cleaning appliances in case I somehow break them by using them for their intended purpose? I'm getting really tired of hearing about us lying around expecting handouts and not working. Especially when it's a situation where the person saying it is standing in a room with a lot of millennials, all of whom have jobs. Which is every single time I've heard this said in real life. Like, who here is lying around doing nothing? Who's your example? Oh it's your neighbor's best friend's cousin's son. He doesn't have a job and lies on the couch all day. Okay, a lot of millennials I know have multiple jobs. 
including monetizing their hobbies, and still just barely getting by, and those of us that don't, it's usually for reasons beyond our control. I've literally never met a single person in my entire life that wanted to sit around doing nothing all day. That sh destroys your soul and kills you from the inside out. Source, I'm a disabled millennial who literally can't do anything all day. It is not a life you would choose to live. Trust me, I haven't done this. But I always want to point out that hey, you must be talking about your own sh kids that you raised and their friends. My peers that I know aren't like that. And it is. It's always some upper middle class jerk that raised awful children. As an American, it's basically that we're inheriting a system that nobody trusts us to run. All the people who represent us are 2-3 times older than us. The older generations are refusing or unable to retire which is preventing us from actually entering the job market. We currently have the most geriatric congress in us history. The boomers refuse to concede power and continue to be elected as they still have sheer numbers on X. Y and Z. That however will change by 2024 with a relatively even amount and by 2028 most boomers will be too feeble or will have passed away to be able to make it to the polls. I hate to break it to you but in 2028 the oldest boomers will be 83 while the youngest will be 63. There'll be less of them, but a huge contingent of them will still be working and an even larger contingent will be able to vote. Also boomers live in swing states disproportionately so they'll get a bigger say than you or me. This is also preventing us from entering the housing market. What do you mean? There's plenty of options. Like that $300 K2 bed 1 bath with broken windows and a cracked foundation being sold by a boomer that knows what he has. The use of the term millennial to refer to the general young person. As a younger millennial, I hate PPL bringing up that I eat tid pods. Mom PPL my age were out of college and in the working world by the time TikTok challenges were a thing. I'm mid 30s and have had a boomer try to use that to invalidate all of my arguments. Yeah well at least my generation never ate soap minded and either. And if some of them had, that wouldn't say anything about me. Technically it's like 39 year olds to 22 year olds. That range needs to be split in two. I'm 35 and don't know WTF the 26 year olds I work with are talking about half the time. I'm 31. Beat Fortnite on God. Bet fam. When people call teens and early 20s millennials. That was like 10-15 years ago. I've seen old people refer to Generation X members down to junior high students as millennials. It just means person under 50 who I don't like. Apparently. Yeah, as an early 40s Gen Z, sometimes my year 4 students call me a boomer. Usually when they show me something on Reddit they think I don't know about. Yeah, I'm 34. My son is as close to the age boomers think a millennial is as I am. I'm 40 so barely a millennial my son is 18 how is he in the same generation? We have drastically different upbringing. This, it's so aggravating that people use millennial as a slur for any spoiled naive youth. I'm a 39 year old elder millennial with back pain. The youngest millennials are in their mid 20s. It's pedantic but it drives me up the wall how lazy people seem to assume anyone younger than there is a millennial. I'm sure my Gen X brother doesn't enjoy being called a boomer. Called my 19 year old a boomer today. Don't remember why. But she absolutely sounded like my mom in being about some kid thing. Can verify no one likes being called a boomer. It's funny to do though. I. For one, am tired of hearing about the things we've killed. Tastes change all the time. This is not new. There's an anecdote that JFK killed the hat industry. Hats used to be a staple of American men's fashion. There were dedicated hat shops. Then JFK came along with his public image of a suave man with impeccable hair. Hats vanished from the mainstream fairly quickly. And the fedora has never recovered. Story goes that this was based at least partially, by the movements of 68 in Germany, and perhaps other parts of Europe too. Our fathers wore hats, so we sure as hell did not when we left the house for a protest. And the fedora has never recovered. You shall cease spreading blatant misinformation. Kind sir, lest I lose my temper and challenge you to a duel. Tips fedora. I remember seeing one that was millennials are killing payday loans and trying to imagine thinking payday loans are a good thing. But where else can I get loans with 400% April? I think it's interesting. Also if industries can't keep up or offer a good service then they should die. The boomers also killed stuff. 
they killed radio dramas with TV and their grandparents killed the carriage industry by buying cars. Also, video killed the radio star. Next up, are millennials killing brick and mortar stores? Waiting for the did millennials kill Gamet stop? Article. It's actually interesting. Imo. We've got to have one of the most discriminating tastes of any generation in a long time. We just don't settle for sh we're not happy with if there are other options that suit our tastes better. And what does that mean? Sorry cable. Streaming is better. Sorry garbage chain restaurants. Smaller niche restaurants are better. Sorry napkin industry. I've got a roll of paper towels. Sorry Harley Davidson. I've never seen nor do I connect with Easy Rider. Sorry cruise industry. Gross. We have an unprecedented level of choice and information. In previous generations, what you purchased was limited to what was available in your local area. Now we can search the world, find exactly what we want and have it delivered tomorrow. So why settle? I had to go on a business trip and work with an older lady who was just about ready to retire. I managed traditions and travel around North America to convention centers and hotels organizing events. She had an old school way of checking inventory by hand. I'm pretty good with Excel and Salesforce, so I had a faster way of doing it. I got the job done like I've been doing for years and left so I could go enjoy Vancouver. We've all heard the saying work smarter, not harder. She couldn't get it through her head that the workday was done for me. I found out from another colleague that she called me a lazy entitled millennial with no work ethic. So that's the stereotype I hate. I busted my A and paid my way through college. I worked long hours and kissed A to get to the position I'm in. I know plenty of other young professionals that have done the same. This idea from baby boomers that we're entitled or lazy gets tiresome. In my office if you finish the arduous tasks you are given early. They just expect more work. They don't care about the quantity or quality just that you punch in for 8 hours a day. Now that I work from home, I have a much better balance because no one can see me effing around when I finish my tasks early. Just because it takes me 4 hours to do what takes my boomer co-workers 8 hours to do, doesn't mean I should have to do more than them. I currently have the highest stats on my team. I am also the only millennial, and when I finish my work I'm expected to pick up the slack for my co-workers who can only type 30 words a minute with a 75% accuracy rate, yet, I'm the lazy and entitled one because I have more downtime. 40 hour work week feels like stone age by now, and it's the older people controlling that. My mother-in-law called me lazy after I spent my vacation busting my a helping her get rid of her heaps of junk because I was faster and more efficient than she was. Then my dad called my husband lazy for sleeping into 10am after he was up all night grinding concrete floors by himself. Both of them just got defensive when we called them out on it. We don't do any type of project with them now. Cause you know, we're lazy. We can't afford houses because apparently we spend too much on avocado toast. No. In the 80s and 90s houses were about 3 to 4 times the average annual income. Now it's close to 10. At least in my part of the world. When someone makes mention of some challenge teenagers are doing like eating Tide Pods and people are like ugh. Millennials. Um. No. Just because 4-5 people did something stupid and then the news decided to take it and run with it and make it sound way more widespread than it is, doesn't mean you get to generalize a whole generation. Secondly, millennials are practically the age of the parents of the TikTok generation. It's not a generic term for any young person doing something you don't like. The Tide Pod one makes me so angry. Yeah, I can only afford store brand. That we're entitled. Having worked with the general public for over a decade, I can assure you the overwhelming majority of entitled and rude behavior comes from the over 50s crowd. Stop wasting money going out to eat and be financially responsible. Millennials are killing the shtai restaurant industry omg. Seriously, when the last one of us dies there's going to be articles like, are millennials killing the funeral industry? Stop wasting money and be financially responsible. What do you mean you're not ready to have kids yet? As someone whose boomer mom demanded I have a large wedding and then when I said no and she said but I'll pay for it and I took her up in it like an idiot good job. My parents needed a new roof on their house but instead they paid for my wedding and then my mom guilted me about it forever. That people don't own a house because they are lazy. I have taken the time to explain the loss of buying power, stagnant wages, automation 
contract employees, lack of job security, cost of living in other areas, etc. Play way more into it, my boomer dad is one of the good ones took him a while to understand the sheer magnitude of disadvantages his kids will be facing but he finally gets it. My sister and I don't point at him and say told Yasso, because you can tell on his face that he's very sad, it's one of the few things that makes my hard as nails dad upset. He can't believe everything that we're dealing with and he really started to understand it when he needed to look for work between jobs he's self-employed but it was a slow year and he had a 6 month gap between projects and needed to earn an income in the meantime. He was utterly bewildered with the job search. I've been self-employed longer than you've been alive what more do I need to prove to these people? I remember him being so offended when he went to see a manager at a local auto body shop and they asked him for a resume lol I've been doing this for almost 40 years. And they just tell me to apply online, online. I've owned shops longer than he's been living. That's when my dad started to show a lot more sympathy to our job searches and hasn't been so hard on us. But what makes him so sad is that our buying power is just pathetic compared to this. He bought a home in 1994 $110,000 3 bedroom at $15 per hour. And my mother never had to work while raising us. My dad can't believe how things are now. Had this talk with my parents yesterday, they fought tooth and nail yesterday that I can't keep looking at the past cause that's past, it's like they realized how fed up it is today and just don't want to feel responsible, they started off how they made like 5 year when they started, I asked them how much a bread was back then, and how much now, it was 0, 30 euros, they just didn't want to understand that 15 year now isn't that much more compared to the 70s as a bread costs too, 5 euros now. They had a hard time understanding wages rose about 20% while life cost rose 400%. We are what the previous generation made us and we have been shaped by the world we were raised in and then we are attacked for who we've been perceived to become as a result. It's like getting angry at the puddle of milk because you threw the carton on the floor. I just shoveled like 20 of my elderly neighbors driveways this morning after snowpocalypse. By Wednesday, while chatting they'll talk about those lazy millennials like they're still 20 year olds. Bro, I'm 38 and got 4 kids and own the biggest house of this block. I'm millennial. Cannot convince them of this. Ever. They'll just hit you with well you're just one of the good ones. Or wish more of them were like you. Or, my favorite, you're not a millennial. You're better than that. As if millennial was a set of trays and not just the time frame you were born in participation trophies these were for our boomer parents not for us and now we are blamed by them for being entitled because we got them definitely f i hate the concept of participation trophies i've gotten into a shouting match with an older guy over them before i was 10 your generation was the one handing them out tips. you must go to college and get a degree you don't want to be flipping burgers or changing the oil in some rich guy's car does that incurs a lot of debt these irresponsible millennials and their elitist liberal educations, if they'd been smart, they'd go to community college and transfer go to trade school, they won't just take a job, any job to pay the bills, they could flip burgers, why should we pay for their mistakes, I was talking about this with my dad the other day and he was like we didn't force you to go to college, no, nobody straight up said I had to go to college. But they did spend an awful lot of time talking about how only f-ups don't go to college and making sure that entry-level jobs required a degree. The hell you didn't. Parents of millennials, you are not getting into college with that grade. You want to take AP classes? They count for college credit. I signed you up for a practice Saturday. When you go to college, it's not going to be this easy. It was goddamn given. This. Boomers. Stupid lazy millennials. Going to school and going into debt. Stop being entitled. Work any job. Flip burgers do retail work if it pays the bills. Also boomers. Burger flippers retail work are jobs for high school aged people. They deserve slave wages and if they don't like it go to school and get a better job. Being blamed for not buying things. Like. Millennials are killing X product line. Welp. The boomers who won't retire are clinging to the top level jobs. So we don't have the opportunities they did to move up and earn more money. So we have to be choosy about the things we spend our money on, not to mention, most of us are trying to be mindful of our consumerism as a whole, not buying tons of stuff for the sake of having tons of stuff. The consumerism thing is tricky for them to understand, 
my in-laws are downsizing, and they keep asking if we want this, decorative plates and candy dishes mostly, but also every single toy my husband ever had growing up, they get offended when, no, we don't want junk to keep in the garage, they also get offended if we accept a decorative plate with the intent of actually using it as a plate. When millennials do sh that Gen Zs and boomers did, but for some reason we get derided as the sh ts generation to ever get whelped. When millennials take cooking classes and sewing classes and basic auto repair classes, and other shower parents were too lazy busy to teach us, but no one ever talks about that part, we're derided as being helpless and needing adulting classes. When Gen Xers and Boomers did literally exactly the same thing, it was celebrated at self-improvement and the American dream and called taking a class down at the while earning an ex-community college. 1981 here, the stereotypes are amazing, every time I hear an insult aimed at millennials I'm amazed, and amused, that anyone thought it was an insult, an entire demographic dedicated to making sure everyone is doing something they believe in, that we all get the support we need and putting Apple biz out of business, I'm honored to be counted among the monotechnicality. I kinda laugh when boomers call us snowflakes when they seem like the bigger bunch of wimps in history, anytime they get a taste of their own meds and they act like it's a assault on their freedom. Every generation has things they get offended about, but just disagree on what should be offensive. Case in point, an argument I, 33, had with my mom, 64. She was all mad because a children's library at an elementary school had removed a book which used the term Chinaman and included racist imagery in the illustrations. I claimed the book was offensive and not suitable for children, and she said my generation was too sensitive and easily offended. In the same conversation she got super offended because I used the word deaf. My boomer dad will spout all kinds of racist, misogynistic, and homophobic crap and then get all pearl clutchy if you fart around him. I'm 31. I played golf with my father around Christmas. Before I got fired he asked how my job was going. I said it was okay, stressful, and they were giving me more responsibility. He asked if they were gonna pay me more, and I just laughed for a good few minutes. He had a bewildered look and said well that's how it's supposed to work isn't it? You need to stand up for yourself and demand more money I seriously looked at him and asked where he's been the last 20 years. Employers don't like your tone of voice, they kick you to the curb and get someone else willing to be their robot and be programmed to how they demand you act and carry out tasks. We got blamed for spring break covid outbreaks, we aren't in college anymore, haha, <laughs> I remember that, my favorite response was something like, we are too old for spring break, we're at home with our kids struggling through virtual learning and trying to convince our parents to stay home from church, f. Millennials has just become a term for young person with ideals I don't agree with. Within 10-20 years we're going to have some old millennials be eyeing about millennials. 35 year old guy at my work was be eyeing about millennials just a couple of days ago. He didn't want to believe when we told him. I graduated from college in 2004, 17 years ago this spring. There are people reading this thread who weren't even alive yet. Back then the internet had only recently become a household service and still retained a lot of its 90s wild west frontier feeling. Cell phones were only just starting to become popular for people who weren't businessmen. Reality shows were the new craze on cable TV. People with money to piss away were going nuts about the fancy new plasma screen and LCD flat screen TVs. In 2004 you could and often still did walk into businesses and hand a resume to a manager. Everyone still fully expected that they'd get the career they wanted. Buy a house, get a nice car, go on vacations and grow old buying sh left and right. Nobody expected sh tie starter homes to cost $400,000 or 4 jobs to require filling out a form read by a bot that, if successful, would see you competing with 1,200 other people for an entry level position that pays a. Times have changed, we are not today's college kids, and the ones that are in college aren't partying because they're grown with bills and possibly families, that's me, to kids, going to school and working at 30. That I'm lazy and entitled, 60 hours a week logging while middle class boomers take 2 hour lunch breaks and take a half day off for golf. I'll start. Avocado toast is the reason we won't be able to retire.